Hi, this is Fat Girls Rule with um, another mail time. Um, Extelise, which is Veronica from France, she sent me another package. Um, I don't. I know she had like some stuff come in, and um, so she sent me. She sent me out another one after the first package that she'd sent me. So, and this um, makeup that I'm wearing um, is from the Tattoo Chronicles. And this time I used, um, instead of, I used the um, Peanut Hollywood and Taxidermy. And then I used the Monastery as, um, this one right here, as my eyeliner. So that's how I got the eyeliner on as I used that. I've seen people, like, using eyeshadow. It was like a liner kind of like type thing and I just used a thicker eyeliner brush the one that I don't use for like gels and stuff and I really like the way it looked so I totally love it that palette um but I am totally totally utterly in love with the Too Faced natural yeah natural it's gorgeous but I wanted to show you guys what she got me she's so sweet my hair is a mess um so I got this awesome wonderful card and she has like her little, um, like all these little star confettis. I save them. I'm goofy that way. I just put them in the boxes that I send out to people. But I was so happy with all the stuff I got. I was, and then she sent me like, um, food. She sent me like candies and stuff from her country. So I'm like sucking on one right now. These, and it says cocktails on them. And they do taste like. A cocktail so I don't know if there's liquor in them but they do taste like cocktail with liquor so you have to tell me Veronica if they do have liquor on them but I have several of those or if they're just maybe they're just meant to taste that way I don't know I'm gonna show you the foods that she sent me I got some of these so I can't wait to try this stuff I already tried like I tried one of these too. And these are like coconut with like wafer and white chocolate and toasted coconut and nuts, I think. Yum. So I have several of those. Um, what is this? Tutti Frutti. It has like, it's a Malabar. Never have had that. And it has tattoos in it. We had like that one with kids, stuff with tattoos in I guess it's kind of like a fruity thing. Um, another one. These are cute. I gave one of these to one of the kids. One of my little babies. Because he didn't have a cookie. But it, it's like, it's Hello Kitty. And it's vanilla. And it has like maybe like a fruit spread on it. it smells awesome. I got some of these kind of chocolates. The Lind Lindor chocolates. Um, she sent me quite a bit of stuff. And more candy. More candy. Okay. Oh, and then she sent me a chunk. So this is what it is. And it is a chunk. She got wrapped up. So this is going to be yummy. It was a big chunk. And mm, it smells so good. It smells like a Butterfinger. It smells so good. I cannot wait to try it. Um. Oh, these are so funny. I didn't even rec When I saw these, I was like... Mm, these are these look really good. You know, didn't like really look look at them. <laughs> these sh she should have sent these to Lowe. This is more Lowe style. But uh, can you see that? What it is? <laughs> oh, I just noticed it. And I was thinking the box. I was like, oh, what if those says? Oh my God, the teeny weenies. Okay, now I got like this little sample, and I have it on right now. Of um, lipstick. Mm -mm -mm. And then she gave me a little Sephora instant moisturizer sample. And now we're getting to the other stuff. I got some. She sent me makeup. More makeup. So I got these beautiful shades. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. She did an awesome job. Mm, gorgeous kind of a salmon it makes me go my eyes go cross when I'm like trying to look at the collar and it's so close 
And then I got some, and she had stuff like little baggies and, and all ribbons and pink tissue paper and confetti and Hello Kitty stickers, and she did it all up again. These are um, some blushes and bronzers. This is a blush, kind of an orange. I could almost, right now, as pasty white as I am, I could use that almost as a bronzer. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. She did an awesome job picking out colors. And this says Paris Cosmetics. And it says PB on it. These, now the eyeshadows are just, everybody was drooling when I was showing them to my, my friends and my people who work for me. This is gorgeous, gorgeous. And these palettes remind me so much of the LA color palettes, except they're bigger, bigger colors, bigger amounts. Well, this is a very, really shiny and sparkly and gorgeous. But they remind me. If you do, you think so, Veronica? They kind of remind me of the palettes. They're just bigger palettes. Like gorgeous. That'd be pretty for a water theme, for a contest. I need to do contest. And this reminds me of like petal pusher or what? No, it's LA color one, like blossom and bloom or something. I don't know. And that's so beautiful. She did an awesome job picking out colors. Awesome. Okay, I think that was everything. And just candy, more candy. I need a little baby refrigerator. I have one girl I used to talk to a lot. I don't talk to her anymore. She's not on YouTube. I don't think anymore. But her name was Amy. She's a teenager. And she used to do um, videos. And then we did a swap. And she's from the UK. And um, she um, had a refrigerator no joke it was like the size of a like a big shoe box like a boot shoe box that's how big it was that's all it was so tiny and i want one so bad it's so i mean it's perfect like it was for her room and she like just put candy in it anything sweet she she, she was so tiny and she would like had all this candy and gum in it and and i want one just to put you know my stuff in from you guys that I'm not eating, you know, because I like have, I have food in my drawer down here, like gum from, whether it be from Kentucky or the UK or Canada and chocolates from Germany and, and I stick them all in my drawer and I'm sitting there doing my makeup in the morning. Um, I will uh, be munching on some of it. But Kansas like has ants horrible. So you don't want to just leave Anything sitting out on your countertops or anywhere. It doesn't matter if it's your bedroom. They, little turds, will find it. They drive me crazy. So anyways, that was my swap. With my, She sent me two boxes. She's so sweet. And Veronica, if there's any other palettes that you want, whether it be the LA stuff or... or the wet and wild just write the names down and let me know if it's you know wet and wild this and then the name or la or whatever because i'll get them together and send them to you i have it's no big deal whatever you know palette you want just let me know and we could just do little swaps back and forth like i do with um low we just mail out whenever we see things that we like or whatever and i'll send you more candy from america um excuse me but, um, I think that's everything. It's Friday night. I'm going to go shopping. I want to get some, something new for my birthday, even though I have new stuff here, but I don't know. I might get something new. Who knows? But um, I'll show you guys if I do. I had like a super, super, super busy weekend and I didn't tell you guys yet, but I had a friend, um, that killed herself last Saturday. So it's been, uh, yeah, it's been hard. We weren't like super, super close, but we most definitely loved each other a lot. And every time we saw each other, we're like hugs and kisses and, and making fun of her husband. And we, he's like, and I love Chris. I adore him. And he is this little tiny guy. And I, I think he's shorter than me. And I love Chris. He's a doll. 
and his my friend that had shot herself um um she uh she's like 47 and he's younger than me so he's like probably 30 no he's 39 he's 39 and so we used to always see each other and we would tease because she's small and he's small and I'm a big girl. So we would tell him he was our little gnome and that he wanted to climb my mountain in the back. And he'd be like yodeling up my butt, you know, because she's like, oh, Chris loves big butts. And he's always checking out your butt, Kelly. You know, we're always like just teasing him. And he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh. So we always, I mean, that'll be, it'll be some awesome memories of her and the fun times we had together. And I just, I love that woman and she was an amazing, awesome spirit and she was in so much pain. I mean, it's not, she wasn't a person that was like depressed or she was always in the best of spirits for everybody. She saw smiles and hugs and, and love and positive wonderful woman and because she was in so much pain and she had went to um the Mayo clinic in texas and they said that there was nothing that they could do for her anymore and that um no operations because she already had several and no medication nothing was going to help um she was in pain constantly in her back she'd been in accidents and the broke a disc and on, I mean, she had like cancer all through her uterus. She had to take out, they had to operate, take all that out. I mean, one thing after the next, and um, she couldn't do it anymore. She just couldn't do it anymore. I'm how br I just I feel so bad for her. I feel so bad that <sighs> she had to be alone, you know, during that time when she did kill herself, and. When, it, when it's times like that, I think, I firmly believe that when somebody is ready to go, they should be able to, be, it should be done in a humane way and not done in a closet or in a room or in a house by their self. You know, it's like, if your dog gets old, your dog gets cancer, your dog's in pain, your dog can't walk, you put it down. Um, because people would say that is inhumane and cruel. But when a human is at that point, at that breaking point where they can't do it no more, they have to do it by themselves with a gun or with pills. And it breaks my heart because they have every right to be done with their life if they cannot do it no more. If they are not clinically depressed, and they are normally, you know, healthy, happy, happy person. And, but the pain is never going to stop and they can't do it no more. Why can't there be a place for people to go where they can have this done in a humane way and in a proper way? You know, instead of doing it secretly, writing a note or whatever. I'm not for sure what she did. And doing it themselves by themselves. Can you imagine how scary that had to be for her? Now, people think, you know, that's the easy way out, and I don't believe it's the easy way out, because if you've ever contemplated suicide, and the last person you're thinking of is yourself, because by the time you've got to the point where you're ready to kill yourself, you've already thought about everybody else, and you kept putting it off because you have children still at home or, or grandchildren that are being born or you know or ch other people that need you in your life and you kept putting it off and kept putting it off until you're at the breaking point where you just are like F it I'm doing it because I can't deal with the pain no more it's too much you know the pain will just you know possess you and, and take over your life and they said either you live in pain the rest of your life or you be paralyzed and then basically someone else would be, you know, wiping her butt for the rest of her life and she's only 47. So I totally, I understand. And I cry because she had to be by herself and that it should have been, in, it should have been, you know, 
death is, is like birth. You know, it can be a beautiful thing and there's a passing and, and we hope that there's a place for us to go. And, you know, I always try to think of death as, as a positive thing, even though it's so scary and, and you don't know where you're going and, or what it's going to be like when you get there. And, you know, and it's like, how humans have to do it themselves, it's it's sad and it's pathetic that, you know, Amy should have been, you know, she's worth more than a dog or a cat, and she should have been, and she, yet she, if we would shoot a dog or a cat to put them out of their misery, we would be fined and um, be in big trouble. But yet, it's okay for humans to have to do it. When they're in so much pain, it, it makes me sick. And it makes me very angry that, you know, Amy had to go that way. And uh, she deserved better. She deserved way better than that. So, anyways, tomorrow is her visitation. Well, they're just having, like, a memory. A memorial in the memory of Amy. And so I'm going to go because I know a lot of her family and his family and... But it's, you know, it's going to be hard, and I just didn't want to say anything this week because it was just too early, and, but, you know, Amy was a wonderful, wonderful woman, and she was the type of woman, she would like, she worked in the oil fields, she worked in the oil fields, she had arms that put a man to shame, she had the laughter that would just make, and a smile that would just, <laughs> she's so goofy, and so always so happy and, and wonderful and and yeah, it's a, it's a shame. It's an absolute shame that she had to go in that way and and um, yeah, I wish there was other ways of doing it for people who can't deal with pain anymore instead of having to do it that way. But but she's much happier now and she's not in any pain anymore and hopefully, you know, you know. God is very forgiving and understanding, and He knows what she went through. So I have no doubt in that, in my faith, that in my God, that you know our God is so loving and forgiving. And but, anyways, I love you guys. Thank you so much. You guys spoil me rotten, and I'm just very blessed to have you guys in my life. And hello to all my new subscribers, and I'm a big crybaby. It's like so much stuff happens in my life, and I know so many people that it's like always something is going to happen, and it's crazy. My life is crazy. But anyways, thank you so much, Veronica, for the awesome, wonderful yummies and all the beautiful makeup. I cannot wait to try. I haven't really... I've only bought a couple of things for my... Two things for myself here recently. I think it's it. Two of the different palettes. And I've been trying to use up, use up the stuff that I have, which is literally impossible. But I love getting new makeup. And I love trying new stuff from other countries. And, and it's so fun. And to see how they make their... Do their makeup. How they, how it works. How it goes on. And, and the names. And it's just awesome. I just... Yeah. I love it. love it. Thank you. I love you, girl. And, um, anyways, um, you guys have an awesome weekend. I'm sure I'll be back probably Sunday. Tell you how the birthday went. So, well, I can't wait. It'll be fun. So, I love you guys and have a happy Friday. Bye. Fat girls rule.